Um, I started training jiu-jitsu in probably, I think, 2007 in St. Louis um, after my boyfriend at the time, now husband, convinced me to go to a class after beating me up at home, practicing all of his moves on me. So I started training with him, and I was there. I trained for like five and a half years, and that's when I got my black belt. Yeah. Five and a half years, and I got my black belt in um, under Grace Umida in St. Louis, and we then moved to San Diego. I think seven years now. I've been in San Diego. Yeah, and it's been like a really good journey. I think like uh, when I first started training, I was, you know, just wanted something to be competitive with. Wanted like something that I could just keep in shape and not just going to the gym. And then I did my first tournament after about three months of training and like fell in love with the sport. I like won, like had a whole bunch of fights, like pretty dominant like performance on my part. So I was happy about that, especially, you know, hadn't been training very long and uh, fell in love with the sport, was addicted. I think I, I competed, I competed a lot, like as much as I could. Um, when I moved to San Diego, I think I had, I, that's when I, I was really just focused on my jujitsu. I think back in St. Louis, I was working at a job and training. And so San Diego is when I really wanted to make that, that like my full-time focus. And so I competed in the Nogi Worlds after not competing in Nogi for, I think I had the last time I competed in Nogi was like when I was a blue belt. Then when I did Worlds at Black Belt, it was like the first time doing any Nogi in a long time. And I won the Worlds in 20, I think it was 2018. And um, after that, like I think I kind of got hit by like the Nogi bug, I guess. Like I wanted to train more and more Nogi. I was just having a good time with it. And it's like a good change of pace after so many years just solely focused on just the Gi. Um, so I did the ADCC trials, the West Coast trials. And I wound up winning those and competing in ADCC. And that's like kind of the tr point where I was kind of ready for something new. Going, making the transition from just doing solely jujitsu every day to focus on MMA. I knew like a lot of jujitsu athletes say that they're going to do MMA, but then you still like keep your like foot in the door and like doing these different tournaments and focusing on jujitsu. So I think for me, I was like, have to like kind of change up my whole thing and my focus has to be just doing MMA I had to stop like competing at all because I knew it would take away from me needing to you know I love like I'm always going to be training jiu-jitsu and I still train as much as I can but I have to like make up for you know time that I didn't have in uh, like working on my striking and working on the feet and so um, my training now I do as much like I, I'm at least grappling doing wrestling or jiu-jitsu like three or four days a week and then the other days like doing a lot of lot more striking and uh, Muay Thai and boxing as much as I can because I know that that's like where I have the most room for improvement um, but I don't ever want to lose like my my time I like worry about that like not like losing my skills and my timing and that like not focusing on jiu-jitsu but so far it's been fine. <laughs> I think for me, it's not, I don't get that nervous, like as nervous competing MMA as I do jujitsu, like doing like ADCC and doing those. And it's like, I've been on big stages in, in and like jujitsu. So that's not, so going into a cage and fighting and, and doing that with like everybody eyes on you. I've done that before. That's not that intimidating, but I would actually get more nervous for jujitsu matches than MMA because you know, I, I'm going into a jiu-jitsu match knowing that this person has the same skills as me, maybe more, they're just as good, like we're all at the same level versus going into MMA where it's like I there's a lot more things that can happen and I know that like my, my jiu-jitsu is going to be better than theirs. Like it's going to be very rare for me to run into somebody that's been training and has the, the time on the mat that I do. Um, so it kind of like calms me down a little bit. <laughs> If you're a female, like wanting to get into the sport, wanting to get into jiu-jitsu, it's really important to find the right 
environment. You can't just like walk into a gym and try a class and like, if you're uncomfortable, if there's weird things happening that like they didn't like, it didn't feel right, you don't have to stay there. Like you can find another place. There's, I always, that's why I like having a women's program. I always thought it's not about like just having, I don't only want to train with women. I like having a big group of women to train with, but it's a very, um, it's like, a, it's an easier way to, to get into the, the, your foot in the door on, and get on the mat because I think it's less intimidating. And I found that to be true with like a lot of other women, like coming to me and saying like, oh yeah, it's like a lot less intimidating. I don't have to just walk into a gym and there's like some weird dudes I don't know. And they're like, yeah, wrap your legs around his waist and like be, he's going to be on top of you. And it's really uncomfortable. I think that that's like a, like a thing that gives a lot of women pause, like running, going into it. It's like very close um, when you're fighting. So I think biggest thing is just do it, but find the right gym. Don't just go to the re- first place that you show up because I've seen that happen a lot where it's like you get discouraged because I, you know, I thought that this all was what jujitsu was and it was a really toxic environment. Like that's not the case. I mean, Alliance is great. <laughs> you can't teach heart is, um, I love that. And I'm like, that's one thing I'm like, Oh, high fly is cool. Like I like that saying because it's something that is so true. Like it's one of the most thing, like common things. It's like, how many times you see athletes that it's like they have all the skill, they have all the ability, but they can't just put it together because they're lacking that one thing. And it's that, that heart, that drive, that motivation that's just like, I won't quit. I won't stop. Like no matter what, you're going to have to kill me to get, to make me quit. And I think that's something that, um, like I like have like the ability to do, like I'm very competitive and the things get harder they get, the harder I try. And I think that's why I love that, that phrase.